going on everyone this is brian with superman's comics in collaboration with comicbookinvestor.com and this video i'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out wednesday november 28 2018 hope everyone had a great thanksgiving got some christmas shopping done but also save some of that money because we got some great comics coming out this week so let's get into the video we kick this week off with aquaman justice league drowned earth number one it's the drowned earth finale Aquaman faces the truth behind Atlantis' past and must find a way to reclaim the power of his birthright or watch the floodwaters drown everything he has ever loved. We have a regular cover by Francis Manipal. There's also a regular priced movie variant by Dale Keown. Batgirl number 29, this is the finale to Art of the Crime. Batgirl may have uncovered Grotesque's real plot, but that only means she knows the real danger that faces Jim Gordon and the Gotham City PD. We have a regular cover by Sean Murphy. There's also a regular price variant by Joshua Middleton. I like Sean Murphy, but I'm going with the Middleton cover on this. Batman Kings of Fear number four. Scarecrow's psych evaluation of Batman takes his darkest turn yet as it completely dismantles the Dark Knight and keeps him from Gotham City. And a threat of immense magnitude will ravish the city unless Batman snaps out of Scarecrow's control. DC Nuclear Winter Special number one. This features 10 new stories that takes place around the holidays in a post-apocalyptic wasteland going to feature Batman, Superman, and The Flash, and a bunch of whole other DC Universe characters. Detective Comics number 993. Is Two-Face really dead? Did he really blow up in a massive explosion? Well, Batman's the detective, so let's let him figure it out. There's a regular cover by Carmine D. John Domenico. There's also a regular price variant by Mark Brooks. I'm going with the Mark Brooks on this. Flash number 59. This is part two to Force Quest. The Flash's next destination on his training mission to the stomping grounds of his longtime foe, Gorilla Grodd, is Gorilla City. But instead of a primate paradise, he finds the kingdom in ruins. There's a regular Rafa Sandoval cover. There's also a regular price variant by Carl Kershaw. I actually like the regular cover on this, so I'm going to go with that. Heroes in Crisis number three. In this issue, we find more secrets about Sanctuary get revealed. What compelled Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman to create it in the first place? How was it built? And if the hospital truly is alive via AI, who or what is the brain of Sanctuary? There's a regular Clay Man cover. There's also a regular price variant by Ryan Sook. I like the regular cover for this. Justice League Odyssey number three. In this issue, Vildrock shows up and attacks with an army of Brainiac robots. We have a regular cover and a regular price variant. I'm going with the regular cover. Titans number 30. This is part two to Marooned. Stranded on an alien world with no means of travel. Beast Boy finally succumbs to his more monstrous tendencies and could become the most dangerous thing on an already dangerous planet. There's a regular cover by Ben Oliver, regular price variant by Yasmin Putri. I normally love Ben Oliver covers, I'm not a big fan of that, so I'm going with the Putri variant. Wonder Woman number 59, this is part two to the Just War. It's true, Ares has been reborn on Earth, but has he changed for the better? He has chosen Wonder Woman to be his role model. There's a regular Terry and Rachel Dotson cover. There's also a regular price variant by Jenny Friesen. Definitely going with the Friesen on this. Redneck number 17. That's right, before Donny Cates carried his talent over to all those great Marvel titles, he was writing Redneck. This is a fantastic story. Continue to pick this up. And this issue, Vampire Families Bartlett and July tie the knot. Warning number one. The enormous machine slowly materializes in a major West Coast city understood only by the malevolent beings gliding silently toward earth through the inky vastness of space in response a multinational combat brigade called gladiator 26 is deployed and its task was stopping any extraterrestrial threat that emerges amazing spider-man number 10 there's been a major theft and for once black cat didn't do it but he might need to team up with her in order to figure it out this is going to have a regular umberto ramos cover a regular priced uncanny x-men phil jimenez variant a regular price J. Scott Campbell Black Cat variant, and an incentive J. Scott Campbell Black Cat Virgin variant. I like the J. Scott Campbell art. My only problem with it is it's recycled art. It's already been done. It's been created years ago. In fact, I bought a print three years ago with the same exact art that they're using for the cover. So it is great. If you like it, pick it up. Black Panther vs. Deadpool number two. Deadpool's carving a path through Wakanda and wilderness on the hunt for vibranium while T'Challa's mind is distracted with the possibility of a revolutionary new technology. We have a regular Ryan Benjamin cover. There's also a regular priced variant. 
Daredevil number 612. This is the final issue with the creative team of Charles Souls and Phil Noto. The new creative team coming up will be Chip Zdarsky and Marco Cicchetto. It's going to be an oversized issue. Charles Sewell has been writing Daredevil since 2015. He's done a great job. Looking forward to how Chip Zdarsky and Marco Cicchetto take over the reins. But either way, this is going to have a bunch of different covers for it. There's a regular Phil Noto cover. Regular price Cal Hotz variant. Regular price Bill Sinkovitz variant. A 1 in 10 TV variant. An incentive Bill Sinkovitz teaser virgin variant. There's an incentive J. Scott Campbell variant and an Incentive Bill Everett Remastered variant. Dead Man Logan number one. This is gonna be a 12 issue miniseries, which will play out the final days of Old Man Logan. He's dying, he's not getting any better. Sick from adamantium coating his skeleton, his search for your cure has led to nothing but dead ends. There's gonna be five different covers. There's a regular Declan Shelby cover, regular price Scotty Young baby variant, an Incentive Super Log variant, an Incentive Trad Moore variant, and an incentive Greg Hildebrandt variant. Riri Williams gets her own title on Ironheart number one. When a group of world leaders is taken hostage by one of Spider-Man's old foes, Riri Williams has to step her game up. She'll be stunned when someone from back in Sweet Home Chicago enters her life. It's gonna have a bunch of different covers for it. There's a regular Amy Reader cover. There's a regular Price Humberto Ramos variant, a regular Price Scotty Young Baby variant. There's an incentive Luciano Vecchio variant. There's an incentive Jamal Campbell variant. There's an incentive Stephanie Hans variant. And an incentive Jen Bartel variant. I love the Stephanie Hans variant. Just like every like, just like a lot of other people out there, that Stephanie Hans variant is gonna be my pick of the week. Spider Girls number two. This is a Spider Geddon tie-in. Spiderling's parents have gone to fight the inheritors. Now she has to prove that Mae Parker and Anya Corazon made the right choice bringing her on their mission. We have a regular cover by Yasmin Putri. There's also an incentive variant by Gang Hayak Lim. Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number two. This is another Spider Geddon tie in. Trapped on a parallel world as her friends are dying, there's something very familiar about Spider Geddon to Gwen Stacy. There's a regular Bengal cover. There's a regular priced Uncanny X Men variant by Philip Tan. And an incentive variant by Afu Chan. Uncanny X Men number three. This is part three to the 10 part weekly epic. There's gonna be three different covers for it. There's a regular Lionel Francis U cover, a regular price John Tyler Christopher action figure variant, and an incentive variant by Emanuela Lupacino. I'm liking the Lupacino variant for this. However, I'm not gonna pick it up this week. I'm gonna take the gamble. It's a one in 25. Not much has happened in this title. It's a weekly series. So I'm gonna hold out and hopefully get it for a lot cheaper later on down the road. Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror number two. This comes from Ahoy Comics. I love the Richard Williams cover with Edgar Allan Poe in his underwear, so I'm gonna definitely pick that up. Archie 1941 number three. Basic training has begun, and Archie's surprised when he sees his friend Reggie Mantle. There's three different covers. This is a regular Peter Krause cover, regular price Derek Charm variant, and a regular price Anthony Hyatt Rosario Tito Pena variant. Dread Final Judgment number two. This is the final comic book sequel to the cult movie Dread. Features a great cover by Jock. Definitely gonna pick this up. The Savage Shores number two. This comes from Vault Comics. Issue number one is absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to pick this one up. Also, second print issue number one comes out this week. It is an homage to Tomb of Dracula number one. If it weren't for the Stephanie Hines Ironheart number one brand, the Savage Shores number two would definitely be my pick of the week because the story is that freaking good. House of Waxwork number three. This is going to feature two new stories. Sushi of the Gods will take readers to modern day Japan where mythology and old world traditions never die. Also, we're going to introduce to a new character named the Decomposer. So there it is guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, November 28, 2018. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. If you haven't already done so, Hope you consider subscribing to my channel so that way you never miss a future video. This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics in collaboration with ComicBookInvest.com. See you guys next week.